Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This video is part of our guesstimate series. If you haven't checked out other question, please check it out. Also, if you want me to cover some particular question, please comment below and I'll try to prioritize the question in the future videos. Also, please let me know apart from the guesstimate videos, what kind of other questions you want me to cover in the videos. I am planning to create videos on product manager interview and consulting interview. Do let me know your preferences as well. With that said, let's get started. Today's question is to estimate the market size of Prime Video, that is Amazon Prime Videos. This is also an important question. If you are able to solve this question, then you will be able to solve any other question related to OTT platform like market sizing of Netflix, market sizing of Hotstar, etc. etc. So watch this question very carefully and you will learn a lot. Also, never skip the video. Watch till the end because in general, several things I do the voiceover only and this will not be presenting in the PPT. So it is very important for you to understand the, any assumption and the reasoning behind every other thing, right? So you need to watch the video till the very end. As usual, I am giving you 5 seconds to think about the question and have some initial approach ready. Remember, don't jump onto the solution, pause the video, think about it and watch the video complete to the end. Your time starts now. I hope you have an approach ready to tackle this question. So let's start how we can go about this. First, let's start with the clarifying question. The very first question which we can ask is about the market size. What does it mean when we are talking about the market size? Does it mean the total number of users who watch the Amazon Prime video or number of the paid subscribers or the revenue generated by those users? What does it exactly mean by the market size? Let's assume that we are thinking about the revenue generated by Amazon Prime video. Since we have to calculate about the revenue, the second question we can ask is about the revenue. Does this revenue only include the subscription revenue or the ad revenue is also included in this? Let's assume that currently we are only thinking about the subscription based revenue. We are not thinking about any ad revenue. So in future, if you come across the revenue estimation question about OTT platform, do consider the ad revenue as well. But here we are only thinking about the subscription revenue. The third question which we can ask is about the time frame. In what time frame are we calculating here? Let's assume that we are going to calculate the subscription revenue of Amazon Prime Video in one year. So basically we are thinking about the annual subscription revenue of Amazon Prime. The fourth question which we can ask is about the geography. In what geography are we considering? Are we thinking about the global revenue or some specific geography here we are considering? Let's assume that we are thinking about the Indian geography. The fifth question which we can ask is about the subscription because Amazon Prime has different subscription plan like monthly subscription, quarterly subscription or annual subscription. Let's assume that we are not bounded by any such constraint. Now before jumping on to forming the goal of the problem, I would like you to know about our guesstimate ebook which you can find on the pinned comment and the description box. The ebook contains guesstimate from different industry as you can see on the screen. So do check it out. Now back to the question. I think we have asked almost all the question to comprehend the problem in a better way. If you think we could have asked more question, please do comment in the comment section. It will help all of us to learn more. So this is the time to form the goal of the problem. The goal of the problem is to estimate the market size in terms of subscription revenue of Amazon Prime in one year in India. I hope you are with me till now. Now let's start with the high level equation and the walkthrough of the solution. We'll start with the Indian population. Then from there, we will bifurcate them between the age group. I am assuming that people between age of 20 to 60 are the ones who are potential users of Amazon Prime or any other OTT platform. But that doesn't mean every user between 20 to 60 watches the Prime or Netflix. That is where we need to take into account the internet penetration. Till now, we got all the people who are between age 20 to 60 and have the active internet connection. After that, we need to take into account the OTT penetration as well because not all the users between age 20 to 60 who have an active internet connection will be watching OTT platform, right? So we need to take into account some fraction of the users who will be watching OTT platform. After that, we need to think about the user who watch Prime Video because some user might have access to two OTT platform like Prime Video and Netflix. Some users might have access to only single OTT platform like Netflix only or Prime only. Right. So here we are thinking about the user who watch the Amazon Prime. I'm not saying that we are watching only Amazon Prime. They may be watching other OTT platform as well. So till now we got all the users who watch Amazon Prime video, but they may or may not be the paid user, right? Because in India, we share the account, Amazon Prime account. 
that is where we need to calculate the paid users of amazon prime video till now we got the paid users of amazon prime video we need to further drill down into their subscription plan what i mean by this is we should further bifurcate them into monthly plan quarterly plan and the annual plan after that sum it up to get the total annual revenue by the paid subscription for amazon prime in an year in india i hope you got the approach and concept to solve the problem it is time to put those number and get the answer but before that let me share you something a lot of you have reached out to me regarding their resume saying that their resume is not getting selected and they are facing constant rejections so you need to understand that for a particular job application thousand of candidates apply and their recruiter just spends a handful of time maybe 5 10 second to screen through your resume so you need to stand out so i am sharing my resume with you here you will be able to find the editable template and my i am bangalore resume from which you can learn as to how to frame the points putting the link in the description box to check it out now it is time to put those numbers indian population is around 1.4 billion i am assuming that people have an average span of 80 years and they are uniformly distributed between the age group that means that number of people between 0 to 25 will be same as the number of people between 25 to 50 here i have assumed that the potential users of ott platform will be in between 20 to 60 years of age so the number of people between 20 to 60 would be 40 divided by 80 multiplied by 1.4 billion that will give you around 700 million users between age group of 20 to 60 now for internet penetration i am assuming 60% of the people between age group 20 to 60 have an active internet connection the remaining 40% may belong to rural areas or may belong to low income class so we are left with 420 million users who are between age 20 to 60 and have an active internet connection but not all the people who are between 20 to 60 and have an active internet connection will watch the ott platform like prime video netflix hotstar right so we need to think about the ott penetration as well let's assume that 50% of those 420 million watches any ott platform that will give you around 210 million people but here not everyone will watch the amazon prime right so as we discussed there are people who watch two three ott platform there are some user who watch only single ott platform so let's assume that out of those 210 million people 40% watch the amazon prime that will give you around 84 million amazon prime viewers in india now in india we share our account with the other people so not everyone buys the subscription right we watch the video from someone else account so let's assume that on an average four viewers are there have an account paid subscription that will give you around 21 million paid subscriber in india but all of these subscriber will not take the annual subscription package right some students are there who don't want to waste their time on ott platform they take one month of subscription maybe after an exam there are certain user who take one month of subscription to watch exclusive sports matches right and they do it multiple time in a year for example they may be buying one month plan in january and another one month plan in august or september now you will be asking me the question that they could have bought a quarter plan what is the harm in that it will not help them right because a quarter plan bought in the january month will get exhausted in the march right but their requirement is to watch in january and august in that case quarterly plan won't work so let's assume that 10% of the people buy monthly plan and let's assume that they buy this monthly plan twice in a year so the revenue will be 300 rupees that is monthly subscription cost multiplied by 2 multiplied by 10% that is 2 million users it will give you around 1.2 billion rupees similarly with the same explanation let's assume that there are another 10% of the people who buy quarterly plans and on an average twice in a year this will give you 600 rupees that is subscription cost multiplied by 2 multiplied by 10% that is 2 million users this will give you another 2.4 billion rupees Finally let's assume that majority of users buy an annual subscription plan that is 80% of the users and the cost is around 1500 rupees that will give you around 25.5 billion rupees adding all of them will give you around 29 billion rupees that is an average annual subscription revenue of amazon prime in india and this is in rupees so if you want to convert in dollar you can change accordingly i hope you have learned something new from this video If you have any doubt please do comment in the comment section also please download the guesstimate ebook from the link in the description box till then keep learning and keep watching